You notice that your heart follows your treasure. It's not that your treasure follows your heart. Interesting stewardship sermon sometime. <laughs> so pastors like to preach the gospel. The gospel language is because therefore, because God, therefore we. Uh, but sometimes there's a lesson that uh, isn't so much gospel. It's a little bit more the law. And the law uses language like if, <laughs> then. And it's conditional. I'm going to preach on Isaiah tonight. And it's an if then, so buckle up, right? Go ahead. You guys remember this as a kid? The little uh, ditty, ring around the rosy, pocket full of posy, ashes, ashes, we all fall down. Remember what that's about? The plague, the, plague, the bubonic plague, yeah. And you'd get little rosy things, right? And uh, it was deadly. You would fall down. Um, tonight, those ashes represent the plague of sin and brokenness, if you keep that in mind. So I invite you to listen as God speaks. And I'm using Isaiah 58. God speaks. As if the nation practiced righteousness. As if. That whole nation. They say they find delight in me. They say they seek me. Seek my ways in order to do them. Right. As if. I see clearly what this nation does, what they do day by day by day. They seek their own interests. They cry out, my rights, my will, my way. All in the name of politics and party and their own prosperity and their own power. Well, Ashes to ashes, they all fall down. You see, they reward the rich and oppress the poor. They fight and quarrel with words and fists and guns on every corner. There is nothing humble about their bragging or their threats. There is nothing helpful about their unwillingness to cooperate and compromise for the greater good as if they were a nation that practiced righteousness. Well, then God speaks again. Where are the voices that break the bonds of injustice for women and their bodies, for people and whomever it is that they love, for those who are judged for differences and not celebrated for their variety? for those who are worked to the bone and then taxed with no breaks. Who among this nation breaks the yoke of bondage? Who among this nation welcomes the immigrant who's fleeing harm in fear? As if you were a nation that practiced righteousness. As if, well, Ashes to ashes, you all fall down because you all fall short. So you say you want to be a righteous nation, a righteous people, a faith community in my name. Well, then share your bread with the hungry. Cover the naked. House the homeless and take them off the street. Welcome the stranger with open arms. See them for the family that they are, the neighbor that they are, and not that enemy of your blinded imagination and fear. Stop pointing the finger at others or flipping the finger at those you hate. Stop with all the lies, the alternative facts, the false and phony excuses, the wicked misdirection. Turn away from insurrection 
and embrace the gift of resurrection. From ashes of sin, receive the gift of hope and healing. And then, thank God, comes these words. But still, confess a new, let's see, then comes a new as if. Better, a new if as. If, as you do this, as you satisfy those who hunger, as you satisfy the needs of the afflicted, as you stop seeking your own interests or pursuing just your own dreams and affairs, only then, only then, then you will be a righteous nation, a righteous people, a true community of faith. Then your light will shine like the breaking rays of dawn. Then, then your gloom your fear, your hate will be cleansed away. Then you will be a people refreshed and refreshing of others. Then you will be like a deep spring with waters that never fail. Then you will find healing for your own heart. Then you will be that rock on which good is built, that city that shines forth from the hill that people, that righteous, God-respecting, neighbor-loving, creation-serving people that God intends you to be. Then, and only then, you will be called repairers of the breach, the ones who work to build up and not tear down. Then and only then, you will be called the restorer of streets, the ones who build community filled with all of God's children, joyous in all their variety. If, as, better, when, as you do these things, then the Lord will be your protector. Then the Lord will hear your cry and will always answer. Then you shall call and you shall cry out and God will say, here I am. Then, from the ashes, the dust of unrighteousness and sin, God will give new life and God will raise up all who have fallen down. Amen. Amen. Amen.